Ben ball. A good buddy Personal listening foul. up in Colorado wow. tonight. On number 31, On number 31 of, the of the offense. Dead ball. Dead ball. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Number Offsetting. 35, 35 of, the defense. of the defense. The penalties cancel. And it's third, and it's third down. down. Lawson, Goodrum again to his right. Two wides to the right. Quarterback draw. Lawson steps up. Got very little on that, about a yard. Yeah, maybe the line of scrimmage, Dave, about the 27, and that's it. All right, and here's the field goal time. It's spotted at the 34, 44-yard effort by Vandiver. Here's Tom Tarbyville. Well, he made his last one. Vandiver, here's the snap, the hold, here's the kick, and it's just wide to the left. Didn't miss it by much. He had enough leg, but just wide left. So now both teams with a missed field goal. Score stays A&M 28, Citadel 3. McGee comes out and has an eye formation. Alexander and then Courtney Lewis. Joy Thomas flexed left, goes in motion to this side. Hand off, Lewis starts left, goes back to his well, right, then left, and now he goes across the 25 where he took that hand off and makes his way to the 29-yard line. Second down, and eight, the Aggies. And about the 29 shotgun this time for Stephen McGee. Moves about two steps to his left, throws out in the flats to the left side, and that was caught by Joy Thomas at the 34-yard line. Shy of a first down by three. Third down three, the Aggies. Thomas, another reception. Third down and three coming up the Aggies. At the 34, McGee the option, and he is wrapped up and goes down. Back behind the line of scrimmage. He lost about a yard and a half on that one. All right, here we go with the punt. Line of scrimmage, here's the a and 34 return man. I think that is Cooper back there, and he is at the 25. Here's the punt by Brantley. Good high sailor off to the right side. Let's see if it gets an Aggie bounce. It does inside the 20, inside the 15, down to about the 12-yard line. Citadel back at their own 13-yard line. Lawson in the shotgun, drops back. He lets fly. He's going deep. Got a man on the sideline. I think he may have been out of bounds. He was. He was. Boy, he was flying down this sideline, and he was out of bounds. Cooper, the running back. Step for step back there, I guess, with uh, Bats. Check some of those defensive guys here. Justin Warren's out there. Nisi Tupe is the other linebacker. There's the throw out of the shotgun. Batted up in the air and then almost intercepted. Diving for it was R. Keith Brown. Lawson's now 14 to 27, 91 yards, third down play. In the shotgun, drops back to the five, under pressure, steps out of it, throwing sideline way high over the head of the intended receiver and into the Bulldog bench. Through coverage that time. For Casper now on his punting. And right. Check it up there, here's his kick, it's away. Chad Schrader's telling everybody to get out of the way. Somebody may have caught that on the back of the foot. One of the Aggie blockers went down there. Is that Lewis or is that Pugh? Anyway, it may have hit him, and then diving for it was Schrader. Aggies will take it. All right, the clock's been reset, 14-14. It's first down and 10. It's Texas A&M at the Citadel, 46. The Aggies ahead, 28-3. Dave Elmendorf, Tom Turbyville, and me. Dave South on the Aggie Radio Network, I formation. And it goes to Goodson. He's at the 40. He has got a man around his waist across the number three, Michael Goodson. 40-yard line to the 38. Shot of a first down by two. It's line. second down and two coming up. Goodson, nice run right there. Hangs on to the Game ball. Eight. Howard Morrow goes right. Tight end Thomas on this side. And actually he's lined up in the backfield. Martellus Bennett's the tight end on the left. Hand off again is Goodson dancing around back there. Put it on the ground. They got it. Number three, Goodson, the ball carrier. That's the second time he's fumble fumbled. That's four fumbles Citadel. and four lost fumbles for Texas A&M. First and ten for the Bulldogs at their own 39 well, They got some line. penetration and made him change directions, and uh, then he got hammered uh, as he was off balance and kind of carrying the ball out there like a loaf of bread, and you just can't do that at this level. And... Uh, it's another fumble for Goodson and a, another loss fumble for the Aggies, and the defense will come on with uh, uh, Citadel taking the ball at the 40-yard line. First down and 10, the Citadel on the miscue. 
Recovered it at their own 39. They just handed off Cooper. The left side nice tripped play. up from the back side by number Chris Harrington. For the ball They're going to give him two yards to the 41-yard line. Harrington on that uh, ankle tackle. Second down, eight. Citadel at their 41. Cooper to the right of Lawson. Two wides on the right side. Drops back, throws here on the right in the backfield of the 40. Spin move to the 45, not enough for a first down. Uh, I think that's Cooper. Third down, four. They're three out of 14 on their thirds tonight. The Aggies are three out of seven. In a shotgun, empty in the backfield. Quarterback draw. Going to get a first down. Dives to the 49-yard line, the Aggie side seven, of the Lawson. 50. First down and 10, Lawson. In the shotgun for the Citadel Bulldogs. Kevin Higgins, their head coach. There's the snap, rolls left, throws. Oh, that's a nice catch across the 45 that's to the Aggie 44 to Jernigan. Bennett's the end on the right side. Harrington's the end on the left side. There's a little run in in the backfield as they try to get the ball to Goodrum. He and Lawson had a little collision there at the intersection. Got a yard out of that. It's third down. That right, third and about four coming up. Third down, four. Put a man in motion, Cooper. Single setback, they're under center. Lawson play action, drops back. Oh, he's sacked. And Red Bryant. Came right place? up the middle, Red, Red Bryant. Got a flag down. Red Bryant. Where is it? Right over here on the 42. Dave, that Offside. did give them a first Number down. Number 25 of the defense. It's a five yard penalty. And the yardage is enough for a first down. Penalties now the Aggies, four for 30. That gave them a first down, first and 10, 10-12 to go. The Aggies need 28-3, sideline route. They will overthrow the receiver, was out of reach Back of both receiver complete. and defender. Defender that time, Marquis Carpenter, one, and Demansky was the intended wide out. Goes incomplete. Leading receiver is Jernigan, he's caught five for 34. Leading rusher is Lawson. He's run 13 times, 68 yards tonight. Second down, 10. Maggie, 38. Citadel the ball. Jernigan in motion, coming right. They just threw to Jernigan at the 40, at the 35, at the 30. Broke a tackle, 25. First down, he's got it at the 24 and knocked out of bounds by Jafus Brown. Jernigan, good run after the catch. He went 14 yards. 28 to three, A&M over the Citadel. Citadel, the ball, the Aggie 24, Lawson, good protection, rolling, now running for his life, going to throw a sideline pass, he threw it out of bounds, nearest man to it. They went into the officers of the day over there. Somebody Marcus got an interception McKnight. over there. <laughs> pass is officially incomplete. <laughs> <laughs> nice call. 9.54 to go, down, and it's incomplete. Put a man in motion. That's Haney. Lawson starts to his left. He throws the ball, and he threw it in between two receivers. Had a deep man Lawson at the goal line. Had another guy back here about the 10. He threw it in between them. It went incomplete. Third down, same 10. Clock stop, 9.49 to go in the game. 28 to 3. The Aggies lead the Citadel. Third down play. Two running backs stay in. They both leave the backfield. They're in pass routes. They throw the ball. That's a catch. And I don't know that he got it. He goes out about at the 15-yard line. They needed the 14, it looks like, for a Gary first Demansky. down. Demansky caught it Tackled at the 15 defensively. Fourth downs tonight. They're one of two on their thirds. They're four and out of 16. The Aggies are three of seven. Here we go. Two tights, an eye formation. They gave it to Goodrum. He, he is did not going to make it. Hit, and he right at the line of scrimmage. Maggie's take over. Mark Dodge, I believe. Got to stop. They're now one of three on their thirds. Maggie's take over on downs. All right, McGee now, first down and 10. Maggie's the ball. Play action out here to Schrader. And a little bit low. Probably should have caught it down around just above his knees. Coming out to this side of the field. 9.26, stop the clock. Means McGee now is 13 of 19, 141 yards. Schrader tonight, five catches, 74 yards, and a couple of drops. Shotgun. 
Lewis there. Lewis got the handoff, and Lewis he is ankle tackled, and he falls across the 16 to the 17 yard line. Vincent Hills, the man that had him around the ankle. Third down and nine now for the Ags, with 9-12 remaining here in the fourth quarter. And now on third down and nine, the Aggies three of seven on their third down efficiency. Line of scrimmage, the 17 need the 26. McGee's got it. Quarterback draw. McGee to the 23, 24 yard line. Did not get the first down. Comes up three shy. And the Aggies now will punt. It's the reason we have you up here. <laughs> it's fourth down. Here's the punt. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm trying to find it. it. Went into the O zone. He made the catch at the 21. This is Cooper back to the 30, 33, 34 yard line. Flag down back at the 25, Aggie end of 16, the field. Justin Brantley flags down the play. And three, if this Offside. is a number 22, number 22 be a first down. It's a five-yard five penalty, penalty, and the yardage, and the yardage is, enough is enough for a first for down. down. How about that? He's hitting the ball well tonight. That that was a it was not as high as you'd like for it to be, but they had good coverage and they missed the tackle. But that's a moot point now. The Aggies get the ball first and uh, 10 at their own 28-yard line. 7.50 to go in the game. The Aggies 28-3. to I formation. Give it to uh, Javorski Lane. Dancing around. Oh, he's one, two, three. One guy jumps on his back. 33-yard line. Runs to the About a five-yard pickup. Second down five coming up the Aggies. Broadcast locally, of course, on WTAW. We stream it on the Internet. It's on selected stations along the Aggie radio network. And here is play action. Nope, they hand it off. And across the 40, 41 yard line. Is that Courtney? Or is yeah, that's Courtney. Draw play. Lewis across the 41 for a first down for the Aggies. Boy, I bought the play fake that time. I thought for all the world that McGee had the ball, but he goes eight yards on a handoff to Courtney Lewis. If all is in order on our post game shows, on all of our home games, we're going to be going to the Bright Auditorium. The auditorium over in Bright. We'll be picking up the comments of Coach Fran and many of the players. That's on our extended postgame show. Here's the throw, and that's a catch. That's Martellus at the 40-yard line. Jumps over a man on his back and spilled at the 34-yard line. Oh, that will go 25 yards to Martellus Bennett. Martellus about it. Martellus, they're showing three for 43. I'm not sure that they have updated the stat monitor yet. They have, so three for 43 is a correct number on Martellus tonight. First down and 10, the Aggies, Citadel 34, Ags lead 28 to three. Here is McGee under some pressure throwing, and is that a catch? Nope, incomplete. Diving at the 15-yard line, trying to get it was Chad Schrader. A little bit low, scooped it up. Here, Brown and Courtney Lewis check into the lineup. After this play, I want to be sure and mention the offensive members of that leadership council. We talked about the defense a little bit earlier tonight. The leadership council for this 06 Aggie football team. I formation on a second down and 10. Roll left. McGee was under center. Now he's rolling back to the right, looking for a block. He's got a man right there with him. He's going to have another man, and he will throw it. And it goes incomplete. He's Running back, back trying to get to the ball was Pierre Brown. Pierre Brown. Third down and 10. The Aggies a shotgun. Stephen McGee stand at the 39 to take the snap. Line of scrimmage, the 34, a long snap count. He has it. He throws under some pressure. That's a catch. It's caught by Pierre Brown. Not enough for a first down. He went down at the 27-yard line. Going for it on fourth down in a shotgun. Running backs either side of McGee. Takes his snap, dancing around, looking to throw. He's got a man right here if he can find him. It's Chad Schrader going to get a touchdown. 27 yards, caught it wide open, across the 15. Oh, he was wide, wide, wide open. He had all day to throw great protection for uh, for McGee, and uh, he finally got a receiver to, to break over to the left side, and uh, nobody there. He just lofted a, a soft pass uh, to Schrader. He caught it and took it in for the touchdown. Made it look easy on fourth and three. Say 24 on that's what we're going. 27. 27. Schrader the touchdown. Feel pretty good. Chad uh, last extra year. Extra point is good. Six good. touchdowns. Good. The extra point good. Had six TDs last year to Chad Schrader, and then of course had the season ending injury there late. Okay, 518 to go. Aggies now make it 35 to 3 over the Citadel. 
Ags kick off when we come back. Well, the Aggies get their fifth touchdown of the night, this time a 27-yard pass from Stephen McGee to Chad Schrader. Ten plays, 84 yards. It's 35-3 with 5.18 left to play in the game. Here's the kickoff. Lane Newman that time kicked it off. The return comes back to the 19-yard line. Jonathan Vest on the return. And with 5.09 to go on the Aggies, up 35-3. Not a lot of time. The clock has started, of course. We got five minutes and now under five. Haney goes in motion. Lawson has it. Play action. Throws here to this side. It's a catch. That's Haney at the 24. Got five yards. Pass is incomplete. Second down and 10 after the incomplete pass. Lawson throws it in the flats. That's a catch. It's not enough for a first down. A, about a five-yard pick up to the 24. About a half of it. Tackle by number 13. Marquise Carpenter on the stop that time. Making its way to the four minute mark. AM 35, Citadel 3. They have a field goal that came in the first half. It was 21 3 at halftime. Here's the third down play, sideline. Overthrows everybody incomplete at the uh, 50. Batson uh, that time out there defensively, and McKnight was the intended receiver. Once more, it's Mark Casper. Seven punts, 33 yards tonight. Low snap, punts away. Schrader's coming up to meet it. He dropped it. It's rolling around. Everybody's diving for it. And I think AM ended up with a ball. Schrader came up trying to grab that thing a little bit low. 33 yard punt got away from him, and the Aggies finally fell on it about the 41 yard line. New quarterback. That's Jamie McCoy. The handoff about a yard. We'll the quarterback see. Quarterback for the Aggies is number four, Jamie McCoy. So McCoy hands off, and who did he hand it to? Ball Might have been Samson Taylor. Samson it was Taylor. Samson yes. Taylor. Here we go on a uh, second down and about seven. Samson Taylor gets it again from McCoy. McCoy is six two two sixteen freshman redshirt Midland lead. Got a 48 here. I know he's got a 63 against OU on two receptions. So probably a couple of touchdowns too. Yeah. <laughs> Ags hand off one more time. Number 32. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be to close. 50. 50 yard line. Going to mark it at the 50. It'll be a fourth down and one for A&M. Yeah, Time now 2:15. The best. Aggies 35. Greg Booth, the backup fullback, is in there, and behind him Samson Taylor, Jamie McCoy, takes the snap, starts the option. He's going to get the first down. Turns the corner. Across the 45 to the 44, Number convert four, a fourth into a four, first, will keep the ball. With 2.01 remaining in the game, the Tackle Aggies will maintain possession. At six last year. <laughs> he had a little string there where he'd got like five or six passes, five passes where he scored on every one of them. Here's McCoy running the option to the right side. He got away from one man, he put it on the ground. The Aggies are going to get this one back, however. Number four, Jamie McCoy, the ball carrier. And just falling on that on one, I think, is the uh, Shankle. Recovered by number nine, E.J. Shankle. Yeah, Shankle just got that one. Greatest improvements are made from the first game to the second game. Once you get out there and you get to go against somebody else in a different colored uniform. Second down and six. We just hit the minute mark. Hand off, Taylor, right side. Across the 40 to the 37-yard line. Is that Keandra Smith? Was it 26? 5'9", 207, freshman redshirt, Tyler Lee. They line up on third down. Let's see who the running backs are. That's Booth, and it's Sampson Taylor. Uh, we got a penalty delay. Ran the clock down to 16 seconds. We'll get underway at three. Join Dave Elmendorf and all of our guests. We had a great time out there today. We did. We had a good time. Good crowd. A lot of good guests. Good questions. And now third down and seven after that penalty. Here's McCoy, play action, got away from pursuit, rolling to the right. He's going to try to run with it, cuts back. Oh, he's going to get a first down at the 30, stumbles and goes down at the 25-yard line. Well, you want him to run with it, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind, but certainly was effective. 16 yards, a first down, and we have seven seconds left. That should be the last play of the game. <laughs> well, that's it. Ags will start off with a win. It means 20 openers in a row, and 35-3 to three is the final. 20 opening wins in a row for Texas A&M. Dennis Franchoni now 4-0 and in his opening games with the Aggies. A win over the Citadel here, 35-3. Got the postgame show coming up next. Have a whole lot coming up for you, so you stay with us. 
be going down to the Hagler Auditorium in the Bright Center and listening in on the interviews. We'll have uh, 